A brand new episode here with In Touch with Steve Cherundolo. There is Steve Cherundolo. I am Max Bretos uh, coming off a, a win over Sporting Kansas City. I saw that you commended your team afterwards, uh, not only about coming back from the uh, disappointment of the uh, loss to the Galaxy, but coming back from a goal down. What have you seen in your team's mentality that you like? They've got grit and fight, and they don't like to lose. You know, they understand how to turn games around. And they believe in themselves, and we believe in uh, ourselves as a group. That's, that's plain and simple, and that's what I see. Um, and I also feel it, so it's, very, it's genuine. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, y'all be playing it safe and I be going for the win. This game, I, I think, will be looked back very fondly as the uh, Ismail Tajiri Shradi goal. Take us through that goal, and I, for me, a, a goal of the year candidate. This is a progression that we asked for our wingers to get in deep, make those runs deep, to check, and then to go deep. Great ball from Cheeky, good run from Izzy. Something they've had to learn here that he hasn't done prior. Uh, and then I saw it, it drop down. I was like, okay, we're in a good position to maybe cross the ball and then finish. And he just winds up just shooting. An unbelievable goal. I hope it stands as goal of the year. Where does that rank for you of some of the goals you've seen? Um, see, I've been a part of a few, and certainly not myself, but. Uh, I've been a part of a few teams who scored great goals. You could have played the similar. cheeky bowl in. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times. Uh, for those who remember the World Cup, Landon's goal. I That's think. right, yeah. wow. One of the top five for sure, from Izzy. My game too legit. You guys are going to Cincinnati, and you know what Cincinnati's known for? I do not. Skyline Chili? Okay. Uh, have you had it? I have not had it. Skyline chili is chili cheese spaghetti is the way to get it. You can have it on a hot dog, but chili cheese spaghetti, as I explain it that way, is that something you may want to try when you're in Cincy? No, I don't think so. So this week we're going to go through regional foods. I'm going to quiz you where you think they might be from. So you ready? Yes. Masubi. Uh, I'm going to say New York. New York. It's Hawaiian. It's Hawaiian. You've seen it with the, God, way wrong. the spam. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, like yeah, the sushi yeah, yeah. spam. Yeah. Okay. Masubi, that makes sense, yeah. It's actually, I, I, don't, I don't mind. I bet you it tastes pretty good. Disco fries. Disco fries, jeez. Um. <laughs> the disco fries, french fries, brown gravy, mozzarella cheese. Wow. Something you would eat? No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Key lime pie, do you know where that's from? I'm gonna say Florida? Yes! There you go. Yes. Lime, egg yolk, condensed milk with a meringue on it. It was my dad's favorite pie, so I, I, so I did, forgot that one wrong. I, I'm, I'm, really? I'm, I'm in rough shape, yeah. It's muffaletta. Muffaletta. Philly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be from the fine city of New Orleans. <laughs> muffaletta sandwich on uh, Sicilian bread, olive salad, ham, provolone, Swiss. Sounds amazing. Sounds like uh, some Italian immigrants in, yeah. in New Orleans Sounds did pretty, pretty well. Scrapple. I thought you were gonna throw me some softballs. These are like... <laughs> this was Vince LaRosa's softballs. All right, description. Okay, it was brought over to the U.S. by German colonists. Slab of pork mush, whatever that is, mixed with cornmeal, wheat flour. Basically, it's the remainders of the pig. I don't believe this was brought over by Germans because I have never heard of this after spending 22 years in Germany. Pork, yeah, there's a lot of pork there. The rest it just does not fit the description of what I'm accustomed to, but... Uh, where was this from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. So, was there a regional food in San Diego that you leaned into? That's, yeah, it's a carne santa burrito. Carne, I like the specific, specificity. Yes. I know I butchered that no one. No rice, no beans. This was an American pole, but is there one from Hanover that's regional that? Yes, it's white asparagus. You usually use a hollandaise sauce with that. You can pair it with salmon, a meat if you want some sort of protein, but just the white asparagus with hollandaise sauce or melted butter is fantastic. Steve, on that list, what is the one you would like to try the most, try the least? Muffaletta for sure, it sounds amazing. Um, and the least, although I, I do like a good disco, I'm gonna go with the disco fries, it's not going in my body. Likes a good disco, that's all I heard. Yeah. <laughs> this is another episode of In Touch with Steve Trindolo. We'll join you again next week and uh, get your forks and knives. We got some, we got some eating to do.